Today is June the 1st, 2017, the time being 1236 in the afternoon or p.m. Charles, Missouri time. Today is Thursday. I come today for one particular reason. I'm tired of holding back. I'm sick and tired of being sick and tired. A lot of people know that I have YouTube videos. I'm an activist here in Charleston, Missouri. But my YouTube videos are seen worldwide. I speak of corruption here in Charleston, Missouri, a town of 5,947 people, give or take. I speak up against the black and the white corrupted. I speak up against the corrupted law enforcement officials, judges, or anything else. No matter what it is. Uh, for those that don't know, which a lot of people do know, at least the 70,000 plus or 71,000 plus viewers that watch my YouTube videos know, on May the 5th, 2017, just this year, on a Friday, in the Mississippi County Detention Center or jail here in Charles, Missouri, a 28-year-old black man from Nashville, Tennessee, had some mental Ill illnesses, died in the Mississippi County Jail up under the watch of some of the Sheriff Department in Mississippi County staff and some of the Charles, Missouri staff, uh, 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 law enforcement officials here in Charleston, Missouri. I voice my opinion on everything that happens. The local newspaper on certain peoples and the local uh, news media, they're not going to tell both sides of the story. They're not going to tell you what I tell you. They're not going to put certain people's pictures in the a newspaper unless it's beneficial to the corrupted law enforcement officials. But I want to show you something. There's numerous times that I've been threatened here right in my own property, on my own property. And nine out of 10 times, nothing is done. Now, I have a lot of critics, law enforcement officials, some of them can't come straight out and criticize me. But I got a disturbing uh, message on my Facebook Messenger with a person that I'm not a Facebook friend with, who I know little about. It's the sheriff. He put something on my messenger that I feel that was threatening. It could be indirectly threatened since so many individuals have lost their lives in the jail while he was there, either the administrator or the sheriff. I want the public to see what he put on my messenger. Look at this real close. It's something that he can't deny. If he didn't do it, then he need to find out who using his name. You see what that you see that picture? The former sheriff that the attorney general from the state of Missouri had to put out of his office. Corey Huxington. You and Corey Huxington aren't connected on Facebook. Sheriff at the Mississippi County Sheriff Office lives in East Prairie. Look what he put on here. It was dated May the 23rd. 2017 but it, it, it's it's at 12 32 a.m in the morning now what would you be doing at midnight on my page uh sending a message to me when you got 18 criminal charges against you one is an assault lawsuits uh, uh, uh civil lawsuits of three murders that's in the jail and then you up under a criminal investigation for a guy just lost his life. But then look what he says. Mr. Ivy, I am disappointed in your videos that imply or uh, imply I or Mr. Sanders race. Mr. Sanders is the 28 year old black man from Nashville, Nashville Tennessee, who lost his life up under a command that Corey Hutchinson uh, led. Uh, uh, a group of his staff in Chicago, uh, Charleston Police Department into this man's cell. That's not my fault. I wasn't there. But he, he, he I implied uh, Mr. Sanders and I race had anything to do with the 
incident on May the 5th. That's when Mr. Sanders died up under their watch. I thought you knew me better than that. I'm like the Attorney General. I don't know the Attorney General. And how do I know anything about you? I don't know you. I asked you to investigate what the police department been doing to me. You couldn't do it. But then a month or two ago, you told me when I had to come up to the sheriff's department to see uh, personnel there, you told me that you know how it feels now to be set up and falsely accused. In other words, you know what they did to me these two times I got arrested in this town by the chief and somebody else. You know they done wrong to me, but now you saying you know how it feels because you being charged. But let's read the rest of it. Number one, I don't know nothing about you, so uh, how would you think me uh, knowing you better than that? I hope you you'll withhold judgment until all the, uh, the facts and the cause of death are released. Why would you worry about me judging you? I can't judge you. Why would you be disappointed at me? What did you tell the uh, Missouri State Attorney General that you disappointed at him? Filing 18 charges on you? Telling the judge he don't see you being fit to be in law enforcement? I didn't do none of that. But law enforcement did me wrong. You admitted that. You admitted that. You see what I'm saying? You admitted that to me, just like Zach Albright admitted to me that he was forced, pressured, to file charges on me, false charges on me, on April the 9th, 2016. He was pressured to go to trial on a case that I was uh, uh, arrested for on that same false police report he made on April the 19th, 2016, when I went to trial, a bench trial, with an unjust judge, unjust state's attorney, Darren Kane Incorporated, here in Charleston, Missouri, Mississippi County, the, the city's prosecuting attorney. When I went to court August the 22nd or 25th, 2000, all right now, 2016, and found guilty. You lied, he lied on the stand. He admitted to me he lied on the stand. He came from Sykes, Missouri because they said his equipment got stolen out of the, his car in Sykes, Missouri. Two or three years he, he, ago, he came down here to Charleston, Missouri on the police department from Sykes, stayed here for a few years. Then after the death of Tory Sanders, which I don't know if he had a part in doing it or not, he's not here no more. Now he's on the new Magic Police Department. Why is these police and law enforcement officials and judges getting away with murder and falsely accusing people, falsely trialing people, and nobody doing nothing about it? Look at every time that they arrested me in this town, United States Attorney General, uh, Missouri State Attorney General. Look into this here. Am I going to be the next deaf? This man telling me he disappointed in my YouTube videos. You can keep on being disappointed of my YouTube videos. I got a son older than you, man. I got a granddaughter almost your age. You may put fear in these other people in this town. I don't care if you're the president. You don't put no fear in me. Peace be still.